There is nothing more sacred in our republic than the fundamental democratic principle of one person, one vote. It is our duty to ensure the sanctity of U.S. elections. That includes ensuring the security of voting systems. The intelligence community's role is to identify threats and to assess the intentions, capabilities, and actions of foreign adversaries. Our duty also includes empowering the American people to understand information, or perhaps more accurately, disinformation, that they are seeing, particularly on the internet, and make informed decisions for themselves. With that in mind, we would like to alert the public that we have identified that two foreign actors, Iran and Russia, have taken specific actions to influence public opinion relating to our elections. First, we have confirmed that some voter registration information has been obtained by Iran and separately by Russia. This data can be used by foreign actors to attempt to communicate false information to registered voters that they hope will cause confusion, sow chaos, and undermine your confidence in American democracy. To that end, we have already seen Iran sending spoofed emails designed to intimidate voters, incite social unrest, and damage President Trump. You may have seen some reporting on this in the last 24 hours, or you may have even been one of the recipients of those emails. Additionally, Iran is distributing other content to include a video that implies that individuals could cast fraudulent ballots, even from overseas. This video and any claims about such allegedly fraud fraudulent ballots are not true. These actions are desperate attempts by desperate adversaries. Even if the adversaries pursue further attempts to intimidate or attempt to undermine voter confidence, know that our election systems are resilient and you can be confident your votes are secure. Although we have not seen the same actions from Russia, we are aware that they have obtained some voter information just as they did in 2016. Rest assured that we are prepared for the possibility of actions by those hostile to democracy. The great women and men of the intelligence community caught this activity immediately, and our colleagues at FBI and DHS acted swiftly in response to this threat. We are standing before you now to give you the confidence that we are on top of this and providing you with the most powerful weapon we have to combat these efforts, the truth, information. We ask every American to do their part to defend against those who wish us harm. The way you do that is quite simple. Do not allow these efforts to have their intended effect. If you receive an intimidating or manipulative email in your inbox, don't be alarmed and do not spread it. This is not a partisan issue. I've had conversations today with members of Congress from both sides of the aisle, and there is complete unanimity in the U.S. government in our resolve to combat the enemies of freedom. The President has instructed me to keep the public informed as appropriate, and you have my commitment that I will continue to do exactly that with transparency and with candor. We will not tolerate foreign interference in our elections, and we will continue to work with our many partners to disrupt and to impose costs and consequences on any adversary that attempts to interfere in our democratic processes. The efforts of the President to empower us to put towards election security over these last four years are working. I'll now turn it over to my colleague, Director Ray of the FBI, to address law enforcement's activities. Thanks, John. 
The FBI is the primary agency responsible for investigating malicious cyber activity against election infrastructure, malign foreign influence operations, and election-related crimes like voter fraud and voter suppression or intimidation. And that's exactly what we've been doing. At the FBI, we're working closely with our intelligence community partners, as well as our other federal, state, and local partners to share information, bolster security, and identify and disrupt any threats. We are not going to tolerate foreign interference in our elections or any criminal activity that threatens the sanctity of your vote or undermines public confidence in the outcome of the election. When we see indications of foreign interference or federal election crimes, we're going to aggressively investigate and work with our partners to quickly take appropriate action. We're also coordinating with the private sector, both technology and social media companies, to make sure that their platforms aren't used by foreign adversaries to spread disinformation and propaganda. We've been working for years as a community to build resilience in our election infrastructure, and today that infrastructure remains resilient. You should be confident that your vote counts. Early, unverified claims to the contrary should be viewed with a healthy dose of skepticism. We encourage everyone to seek election and voting information from reliable sources, namely your state election officials and to be thoughtful, careful, and discerning consumers of information online. And if you suspect criminal activity, we ask that you report that information to your local FBI field office. As always, the men and women of the FBI remain committed to protecting the American people, our democracy, and the integrity of our elections. We are not going to let our guard down. Thank you. All right, the government of the United States, the FBI, national security, trying to give American citizens confidence in the upcoming election. Having said that, though, they are alerting the public that they have identified two foreign actors which have tried to undermine American democracy. Iran, first of all, for example, sending emails trying to damage Donald Trump and sending videos saying people can cast fraudulent ballots even from overseas. The FBI also saying Russia has obtained some voter information just as they did in 20. 2016. The CBC's Ellen Morrow has been listening in. Ellen, what can you uh, flesh out the details for us? Well, Carol, this was a last-minute press conference that was just announced less than half an hour ago before we heard from the Director of National Intelligence there, John Ratcliffe, as well as FBI Director Christopher Wray. Uh, a really short press conference, but a really important one, obviously, less than two weeks before the election. DNI Ratcliffe saying, as you said, that Iran and Russia have taken specific actions to influence public opinion relating uh, to the election, that they have obtained some register voter uh, uh, info and that that info can be used to communicate false information to registered voters and to intimidate voters. And throughout the day, we have been reporting on emails that were sent to uh, voters in Florida, Alaska, uh, um, and Arizona earlier today in which they were these threatening emails that sort of threatened Democratic voters into voting for Donald Trump. Those emails appear to come from a group known as the Proud Boys, that far-right group that Donald Trump did not uh, denounce in the first presidential debate. But it came to light throughout the day that those emails actually went through servers in Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates and Singapore, for example. And just before this press conference, the Washington Post reported that those emails were sent by uh, Iran, uh, Iran officials. So, and then we have this press conference from the FBI saying that Iran and Russia have obtained some voter data of American voters just two weeks before the election, Carol. Yeah, and the emails, as you say, claim to be from that right-wing group, the Proud Boys, but as the Washington Post reported earlier today, appeared to be a campaign making use of a vulnerability in the Proud Boys email organization. All right, so tonight they've identified Iran and also Russia, but not as many details for Russia. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Ellen. I'm sure you'll be looking more into this and we'll talk to you a little bit later.